So hello guys, the dream is here. Finally, we have a Spine Godot runtime. We have been waiting so long for this, but I think the waiting worth a lot, a lot. We are going to, in this video, we are going to see how we can import um, the Spine animation to Godot. Because to be honest, it took me like a <laughs> lot of time to figure out and I don't want you to waste your time so I'm going to do to do it like if I don't have anything okay like you so you can start to read all these kind of things uh, what they are saying but we're going to the point okay so first we're going to the blog and in the blog you can start to read a lot of interesting things but we are going to go to the page where we can uh, download the uh, the things that we need okay so if I yeah we need to go to spine Godot documentation and then we need to download the version that is required to import um, animations to Godot okay so I have I'm using uh, Linux and uh, so sorry Windows so you can just download whatever your system is and change the requirement and also I we need to need to use the templates for Windows okay so we are going to also to download this and after we download this what we are going to do is first uh, we see that here we have uh, a lot of examples that we are going to see in another video I'm planning to do like um, different videos about how to implement because I need to learn how to do it because I don't just at the moment know how to import okay so what we are going to do very simple we move to here we go to Godot I'm moving everything to here to spine okay so I'm moving here and also this guy this to have everything in the same place so we can see yeah you can see here okay so they prepare a uh, got a version for us so we only need to extract and then we just enter okay like uh, you can open the project that uh, that you want let's make a new project okay so let's create a folder uh, let's change first and let's create in the place that I have here sorry here in spine select current folder um, let's put a spine example okay and let's create a folder here and uh, create an edit okay so the first thing that we need to do is uh, go into editor ex manage export template and we need to yeah we need to find the file that we need to use the spine Godot template okay that you have to download from the website so we open and it's extracting once you can you can read export templates are installed and ready to be used that's a good news as you can see things are getting really really sexy if you go to here and put spine oh my god a spine bone a spine slot a spine sprite a spine animation track a lot of things to learn and finally we have in Godot how amazing is that so let's see how we can use or imagine that this is our project of the video game or whatever and we want to implement this animation to Godot okay so let's first go to the for example this is the current project that I'm in okay and I'm going to export no matter the result because this is an example so as you see you can export in JSON or binary I prefer JSON and uh, you need to also use the texture atlas okay so be aware of that I made a video before about how to export uh, atlas but if you you can pause the video and you can see um, you can see the the configuration that I'm into I change a lot of things so you can see okay so let's export let's first find a place to to do it so I move it here and let's put it here and yes we are going to put this no not in this folder 
we're going to inside we're going to put for example uh, assets okay so here we enter and we select this folder and we export okay once we have exported uh, we move again to Godot and in Godot yeah let's see if we can move and in Godot start to automatically import okay so we have here the atlas json a spine png you also can export in binary and you can have a dot scale okay okay dot skeleton so you can use json or scale mm, in the same okay so let's jump to 2d and for example we are going to add a node 2d and if i don't yeah what we need now to do is uh, create a resource okay so we do new resource and we put spine let me see uh-huh new resource yeah it should be a spine right no where is this resource oh, i don't know what is happening maybe i can find it here a spine okay for some reason maybe it's because it's the is recording but you need to select spine skeleton data resource and you need to create this resource okay let make it in asset and we save it okay then we have to put two files the atlas and the json or a skeleton okay so we put here the uh, spine atlas okay i think something is wrong because i'm trying to uh, let's put load something is wrong with my computer <laughs> but let's do it like that way okay so we open the atlas and we open the um, new spine and the JSON file okay and with the JSON file and, and this now we have what we want so we will need to add a spine sprite okay and in this spine sprite what we are going to do is to uh, did skeleton data resource that has or things needs to be here okay so we load it we load it here and we go to data resource okay we open this resource and bam amazing we have the animations here and as you can see for example if i go to preview and I go to one, we have the animation one, we have the dodge animation, we have the two animation, and we have the other animation that I, all the animation that I have imported. How awesome is that? Then we can start to code, we can uh, see in the next video a lot of examples of how can we uh, do this, okay? How can I think I'm thinking about creating some kind of tutorials um, because I really need to learn this, how to implement the Spine Godot. But this will save me a lot of uh, megabytes because I was doing frame by frame with the spines and now I can use this runtime. How amazing, how awesome is this thing. So I hope this uh, takes uh, out a lot of time and helps you, okay? And see you in the next video with um yeah let's see the examples what things we can do with right now with the spine runtime okay so see you guys and yeah consider to subscribe because uh, as i told you i'm going to i'm thinking about um making more videos about spine with godot because right now currently i'm using for my project so i advise you to to subscribe if you are interested in this kind of thing okay on this kind of field okay so thank you guys and see you in the next one bye